Games we love. Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Zelda 2 is one game in the Zelda series that stands out as the title most people either overlook, claim is bad, or have never played. It's really too bad, too, because it is a solid game. The problem is that it is extremely difficult. A lot of young players were turned off by the fact that it isn't as easy as the original. The overworld seems daunting at first, and exploration has a rushed feeling because of enemies that chase you down. For more mature players who are willing to be patient and learn the nuances and patterns of the game, Zelda 2 offers some great stuff. It revolutionized Link as a warrior. His appearance, use of magic, and caliber of enemies he needs to defeat make him formidable. Plus, this version of Link acted as the basis for many of Link's sword attacks in Super Smash Bros. Even though they are difficult to find, the dungeons are fun to explore. If Nintendo were to allow save points at towns or temple entrances, like they did with the final Great Palace, it would have made this game better regarded. Oftentimes, it feels like an endurance rush to get through most areas, but when you do, the bosses make up for it. I find them to be extremely enjoyable to battle. They look great and are a highlight of the game. Link's skills increase gradually as the game does, and it can be really enjoyable to overcome powerful enemies. The flack it gets for its difficulty is unfair. It has its faults in design for sure, but it is a good, challenging game with highs that make up for the lows. Also, fight Dark Link for real. The battle is great. Zelda 2 down thrusts into the vault of games we love.